let us continue building our project so let us add a form in our project so right click on the solutions folder or projects folder click on add and select the windows form and let us name this as main form click on add all right so this is our form now if you look at the the properties in the right the lower right corner here we have here the name of the form we have the the background the back color you can change it if you want there's so many other options to choose from but we'll stick with the default you can also create a background image so it's up to you to design your own form there's just so many properties here that you can play around with and also the the four color or the the font and the location is zero zero based and the maximize box is true which means that this is active or enabled so if you want to allow the user to maximize the form then just keep this as true but if you don't want the user to maximize it set it to false and also the the start position when you load the plugin it will be the the default location which means that wherever the AutoCAD engine starts the form then it will be there however you can also choose to make it at the center of the screen and also you can change the the text here the main form let's just provide a space there and the topmost you can set this to true or false when you set to true this is uh, this is advisable to set to true if you are processing a multiple drawings which means that every time a new drawing is loaded the form will always be on top it won't disappear on the screen so in our case since we are just dealing with one drawing for this project so it doesn't matter if we change to true or false but let us set it to true anyways and these are just the basic these are just the basic properties that I would like to set for our form and now we can just resize it accordingly so hold on these white squares and then you can just drag it accordingly okay so now let us create two uh, major containers so this is the toolbox here you can find this one from from the view and here uh, you can also press ctrl alt x so once uh, you add a form in your project the toolbox is automatically uh, displayed just in case it's hidden should you close it and you can uh, activate it back by right clicking on the view and select the toolbox here okay so let us uh, drag two group box containers this will be for the the options the options container and the other one is this will be the display container okay so let us just rename this as options container
and this one for the display container we don't need to change the name since we are not dealing with or we are not interacting with this group box anyway so we'll just keep the name as the default next we need to drag a label control and this label will be uh, just guiding the user to select item to display and next we will be needing the combo box control so since we are interacting with this combo box we need to provide it a more intuitive name or more descriptive name okay so let's just call this as CBO options and since this, since this is a combo box we can actually add or hard code a value sometimes hard coding is okay if you have static values that the user to choose from but if you have dynamic values for example you're you're you are retrieving from the database or maybe from the AutoCAD tables you might have to use the the data source binding but in our case since we are just providing the user with uh, options like to select from those options so we can select on the data where is that here the items so the first one is all second one is layer third one is line type and text style okay then click on okay so next we are going to create a button that will be to show the items let's call that as uh, btn display and the text would be like show items and the next button is uh, to clear all the values in the list box so let's call that as clear all and the name would be bt and clear okay or let's call the bt and clear all so our uh, our project or our plugin we will try to build it uh, one option at a time then we will run and we will see we will examine the code and the the behavior of our uh, code so in the display container uh, section here we need three list boxes so let's drag first the layer oops Let me call this as LST layer. Another one. Let's call that as LST line type. I need to enlarge the form a little bit. one more list box let's 
call this as LSD textile. Okay. We also need uh, three more label controls. This time we will be using that label to give the user information on how many layers or how many line types or textiles found in the drawing. So let's add another three labels. Let's call, since we will be interacting with this label control later on, so we need to give it a name, LBL layer count. And let's just initialize the, the text value to maybe just uh, three dots. And also we need to have here for the line type. Let's call this as LBL line type count. And one more label. LBL text style count. Let's just initialize the text to three dots. Okay, so this will be our form. We are not doing any coding on this form yet. However, we will be uh, coding a method in this utility to instantiate and display the form. So to do that, we need to create a method. Let's call that as public void. Let's just call as demo. And then we have to instantiate that form. Main form, let's, let's say mf equals new main form. Okay. Then mf.show. And it should display our form. But we also need to provide here the command method that will be used in, in the command window. So let's just call this as demo as well. And that's it. Let us save our project. And when we run it, let's just click on the debug and set the property I mean the start external program to the AutoCAD EXE installation. Okay, so C program files, Autodesk, AutoCAD 2020, and click on ACAD EXE. Okay, so now we can try running our plugin. So let's do that. Click on start. Let us open one of these uh, drawings here. Okay, zoom extends. All right, tap, type in net load and then look for the project. So it's in the C drive controls demo go to the bin folder debug and select on controls demo yep click on always load and now we should have the demo command so let's try that there you go demo yep there you go we have our form so if you click on the drop down here, we can select one of these options. But even though if we select one, there's no activity happening because we haven't handled the code yet. Okay. So, yep. In the next video, we will start coding on this form here. 
and start displaying some layers, land types, or textiles. Okay, I'll see you there.